this is going to be a very quick video we will see how to set the data set settings uh, for a power bi model which is connected to the sql endpoint of a lake house so this is microsoft fabric this is our lake house and i'm currently uh, on the sql uh, you know uh, the and uh, sql endpoint so this is my sql analytics endpoint connection string I have already used that to create this quick report. I will try to publish this. Save and publish. Once published, I would show you how to set up the dataset settings so that you can have auto refreshes scheduled. So let's publish this. Usually what happens is when you uh, create reports using this uh, SQL endpoint and you publish it you have hard time scheduling the refreshes and I'll show you why that happens so file was published and all is well let's go back to our report in Power BI or the fabric so we'll go to fabric and see the data set settings If you see the data source credentials are grayed out and in my gateway connections I see default single sign on and create a connection. So in this case we will be creating a connection because using this default sign on the connections won't work and if you try to refresh the data set you will get an error. As, a, as you can see the data source credentials are grayed out so you are not able to edit anything and if you see there, there's an error that we cannot refresh the semantic model. So the solution is to create a new connection. So you'll go here in the cloud connections, create a connection and this new connection, give it a name. For us, we will give it data lake house dev because we are connected to the dev environment and you can see the server name it has already picked up that's the sql analytics endpoint you'll use auth oauth 2.0 sign in best practice is to use the service principle click create and that is done now you can go back to your data set settings you can see the grayed out data source credentials is available again and I will change this cloud connection to the newly created connection and that is done now I can go ahead and refresh the data set looks like it's going fine and the refresh has completed successfully if you can see the refresh is has just completed which is a very good sign and this is our newly created connection and you can see there is no gateway cluster requirement because it's a cloud source within the power bi Let's quickly head back to our settings. You can see the refresh history that we had a successful refresh. And you can see our connection, our data source credential is managed by connection and the connection name. So that's all for today. I hope you found this useful and uh, it will solve your problems in Microsoft Fabric. Thanks for watching and keep supporting.